Last time on Game of Thrones, a Telltale game series. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. You'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. No, please! Lord Whitehill will see you hang for this. You're sending him to the war. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. Especially now, when the house is so vulnerable. And Asha... Asha just got angry at everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. Hey you, let's play. Welcome back my dear friends of the universe to another episode of Hey You, Let's Play. I'm Sajkan, also known as the Sajkan, and we're playing Game of Thrones, a telltale game series, I think it's called. Alright, we're in King's Landing with Mira Forrester, and she has some trouble. And hopefully we didn't get her killed while speaking to Cersei and Tyrion last time. But alright, we're gonna continue. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. Indeed. At least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. <laughs> Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah! <laughs> Probably what? never gonna happen though. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. Soon to be the very I'm Red told Viper. He has a paramour. Which I doubt is Dornish for wife. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. It's probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Well, he's, he's had sex with uh, everything and uh, all the things. Who knows? Nah, not really. We might meet but almost. future husbands. Although, marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Nope. He does have a certain look about him. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. Which is more than you can say for his mother. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. Imagine the, the days like you got abused be because he's a psychopathic little bastard. Think about that. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brienne of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> What a perfect match! I don't really Third think that that is a. Uh... What are you doing? Well, I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am Queen. Once sure. you know your true heart, the Lords and Ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. <laughs> your words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. 
I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Well, maybe that Thank you, it my went lady. better than I. There's been something on my mind, something important. And a letter from my mother. I, I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between no, us. Nah, I wouldn't. Shit. It's about my family. I didn't want to say it in front of Sarah. I trust She's, her. I don't trust her. I prefer to speak with you alone. She might be hurt by it, but it's way better this way. Way, way, way better. Yeah, I know that she will remember that, but... Go on. Ask. Forgive me, my lady. I wouldn't otherwise ask this of you, but my mother insisted. It's about my family. Ramsay Snow. What would you have me do? My mother fears our family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. She that thought is true. if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. I know it's a lot to ask of you, and I wouldn't otherwise, but she insisted. That is no small request, especially now. I know, my lady, and I wouldn't ask this of you otherwise. But my mother has left me no choice. She insisted. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? Joffrey will not look favorably on such a request. It is that dire, my lady. I fear for my family's safety. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Yeah. Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Will a bird actually get there in time? Very well. I I'll wonder. make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. The decision is actually on Marjorie's shoulders now and not on Mira's, but then again, if it comes out that we asked this of her, I do not know. Why the hell did you get off your horse, you stupid? Seven elves. I'm thinking Ramsey Snow. Let's play a little game. There we go. Ramsey Snow. Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. Indeed. He does now. The flayed men, though. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. Ram? What was that? My lord? Shh. Listen. That is probably one of the most scary bastards there in this, this land, if I'm gonna be totally honest. May yeah. not be the most powerful, but... I know I heard something.
Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Ooh. Ah. Uh, I was thinking that was the right choice. I think running would have just alerted him. Would have been made, making way more noise at least. Shall we go down to him and see what happened to him? I'm not really sure if that's a smart choice. But I'm not really sure that we that we have any choice in the matter. I'm not really sure what watching a flayed dead man will do for us, but I guess that makes us remind ourselves what type of man Ramsey Snow is. Bloody hell! Exactly. That's the kind of man Ramsey Snow is. Now you guys know why I'm talking so badly of him. I mean, if you Lord could Ethan, bend Ramsey Snow to your will, as I was saying, you he could probably a really powerful ally. There are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership, though. But I'm not really sure that you want that. But three hundred generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Who was the old one? Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! Summon the Lord! We need his judgment! Okay. Who the hell is this? I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! <laughs> hmm. Lord Ethan. Me. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. Oh, he's a deserter from the wall, is he? This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Oh, is he a deserter from this house? Our oh, well, now I understand. We him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Is what Sir Royland said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I have a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy. Go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Hmm. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. I sort of agree with him. I sort of agree with him. I will decide. Send him to the wall. Of course you will, Ethan. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I, Ethan of House Forrester, 
Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. No, please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! My lord, normally it is the lord's duty to carry out the sentence. But I am willing to carry it out. I will carry out the sentence. As a true man of the north, the one who commits or sentences a man must do what he sentences him to. It's not a fine thing or a thing that I really enjoy to do. Of course there's not any enjoyment in this, but this That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Indeed. Not just yourself, of course. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. What's the old one still? Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. But Maester, that is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. That is why there is one lord above all. And so there must be one advisor above the rest. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Very well, then. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. I'm thinking Tonight I'm leaning towards Duncan counsel. already. It would be wise to bestow He seems to be the one with central, the brains. To show that you are decisive the other one is the brawn. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Thank you for your counsel, Maester. It is my duty. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Very well then. Alright, we're going to speak to these guys and see what they think about it. It certainly is not... well, I think it's sort of an easy choice. I don't think the... what, what is he called? I'm just gonna check. Uh, Malcolm... Sir Roynald. Royland. God damn it. Sword up! Swing left! Barry! Wrong! I didn't know Sir dogs Royland. could hold swords. Word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power. Especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And uh, you should know that swinging that blade yourself took stones. It was a man's way of justice. I agree. But still, not an easy thing to do. Who's this? Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. Well, well then. I hope to be off tomorrow, at first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. 
but she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. That is true. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. I know how to speak to her. I'm sure you do. <laughs> but my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. That is Duncan true. would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank that is you. true. Ethan, I need to talk to you. All right, sister. She uh, is worried that I'm changing too much, right? Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. Well. Where you punished him? How could you be so cruel? It's not about cruelty. I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? Do you think it's easy? I'm the third born son. Father never prepared me for this. I'm doing the best I can. I know you are, Ethan. I know. I know you told me you'd have to change, but I suppose I hadn't believed you would. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. That is what I th thought in the beginning, always so... always given me good advice. Thank you. Sir Royland is too hot-headed for a situation like this. Of course, some situations can only be... Or not, I don't know. Duncan? Right. That means... Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord... I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Thank I you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. That wasn't much of an advice, though, but... That is the question, though. The <clears throat> depending on, well, if I was to name a sentinel without the threat of Ramsay Snow, I would probably never even consider it, Sir Royland. But now, when the time is like it is, it is what it is, isn't it? Maester. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. Ransom or a robbery? We may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. Wise spokenly words. Where are we well then? Do it, 
like you mean it. What happens if we enter the tower? Maybe we can get an, another perspective from here. I do not know. He's certainly making his best use of his time to actually get us prepared for this. But I do not know, still. I'm thinking that Duncan might be the best choice for this. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, I am. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I was considering Duncan for the beginning, and we're probably going to go with Dun Duncan in the end. Duncan also holds the secrets to the North Grove. That Ethan does not know yet, but we know, though. Alright guys, so um, I've already made this choice once, but I did take a wrong turn along the way, which I didn't want to make. So I sort of rewinded everything a little bit, and uh, now I we're gonna do this Lord again. Has reached his decision. Um, as you might have Before I name guessed, my sentinel, I am I must tell going you. to choose Duncan. Duncan, Royland. This house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. I'm going to give it to Duncan. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle? This... this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. Indeed. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. I don't believe our men oh, can so take on Ramsay Snow and win. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Gotta say who's the leader. Sir Royland is clearly or show them ready who's to the take leader, maybe. Arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. I sort of agree with that. And I don't really feel like this Thank is a God's brilliant Mira has idea. Asked Lady Marjorie but... for her help. Yeah. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. You must be I don't unified. doubt she did everything within her power to help us. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! We're gonna use diplomacy. My new sentinel favors a certain approach and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known. Then make us ready. Respect his decision. But it's not the first choice we're going to go with. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. 
Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I'm actually thinking that that is a good idea. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Oh, God damn it, sir. Forgive me, my lord. But you are not ready to be lord. And you say that house. after I actually You're agreed with your to plan. Get us all killed. Sit down at once. Thank you, Sir Orland. You may be older than me. But, now but the back of, of, his, of Ethan's wisdom doesn't do. come from Ethan himself. It comes from me. And my gate. wisdom is greater than and anyone. Will not offer our <laughs> and don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Very well, then. Prepare it. I trust in you, my dear old advisors. My lord, advisors. you named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. I'm not conflicted. Forgive me. And I'm not indecisive. There will always so I'm not really sure what he is talking about right now. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Of course. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. But won't he be Lord if he returns? Do you want him to take my place? Of course not. He has no interest in such things. Well, and well, that's then. not what I want either. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength, too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. Asher is dangerous and unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps, especially now. That is true, though. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. I do Ethan, like to have him on my side, I think. Let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. I hope I will not regret, regret this choice. stand alone. You are a forester. Asher Mira seems like a weird us, man, or a weird boy, or a weird teenager, but... I think the sword he has might actually benefit us in the end. I don't think Ethan is that strong with the sword himself. Very well then. I'm going to end this episode here. Like if you enjoyed this guys, leave a comment below for just this game me to play. If you just want to talk about anything, it does not really matter. Subscribe to come part of the Gang today and don't forget to check out the description. Description section. Got some great links here if you want to buy some cheap, awesome games. And until next time. Bye.